um, we will have now our expert, Dr. Pichi Pai. Yes, Father. Yes. Thank you for joining us, ah. Huh? And uh, appearing this time as the, the expert, you know, um, last class, actually, there were already questions on this. No? And uh, I think we also discussed this in, in our second class about marriage. But still, it's good to have clear ideas in this class. No? Um, okay, the, situ the situation is pretty clear. No? Our present situation, many are getting married at a late age. No? And there's this uh, phenomenon called the IVF, no? sperm bank, surrogacy. Uh, it has gained popularity. No, and we have studied this, yes, but uh, there are many celebrities that have gone through these procedures and we hear of success stories of children created through these artificial methods. Now, it's not easy to go against the current, to go against this uh, trend or fashion. No? So um, maybe you can uh, brief us a bit no, as a doctor this time, um, not only in theory as I've been doing in some classes, uh, complications of IVF that we should know. Because it's um, not only the reproduction, obviously, of the, the new offspring no, through science, but there are many other issues here involved. No? So, okay, Dr. Pichi Pai, I... Uh, Father, actually, yeah, it's, it's quite difficult because, it's, uh, because there are so many celebrities coming out with this with in vitro. But the thing is, what people do not know um, is that these are more of isolated cases. There are so many people who who suffer so much. There's so much pain because it's actually every cycle and it's not always um, successful. That's mm. one thing, the psychological burden. And also, the, of course, the economic burden because usually the one cycle for in vitro fertilization is more or less half M. Mm. Um, no promises to your father. Actually, with most patients, I really um, encourage them to, to get married and have children. First, I remember um, uh, attending a conference on infertility. And the one, some, one expert from uh, Europe said that you have mm -hmm. to encourage your patients to uh, get married and get pregnant, have their families first, and then careers mm -hmm. afterwards, not vice versa. Mm -hmm. And um, some I've, I've also encountered a lot of uh, women nowadays that's become in, in, in vogue wherein they want to freeze their eggs mm -hmm. um, and then uh, so that they can go on with their careers and then just come back for it. But that's mm -hmm. not how it is because actually uh, freezing your eggs per se is not mm -hmm. um, immoral or illicit. But the what but the reason why you're going to why you're freezing it, the eggs will be frozen. In the hopes that um, when the patient is already ready to have children, they're going to have in vitro fertilization. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the beauty of natural um, getting pregnant naturally versus mm -hmm. that of um, in vitro. The one is uh, what you call natural selection. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's uh, this um, uh, facility, Popayus in Nebraska, in Omaha, mm -hmm. where in um, yeah, there's infertility the natural way because there's natural selection because it's the it's the best egg sperm egg cell and the best sperm cell that's going to be fertilized in that cycle. And like if, if in vitro, what they do is there's um they 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 pump the patient with um a lot of um hormones so that she'll um have a lot of eggs. They will harvest it, put it in a petri dish, and then of mm. course with the husband. Um, there's also the the way the, the sperm will be collected is not um, licit also, and then it's going to be put there. There have also been some studies with regard to in vitro, wherein um, the the babies who were um, born in who who are conceived in vitro are more prone to um, cancer. And um, of course, we have we don't have the data here in the Philippines yet, but hmm. um, abroad. Um, they're more prone to hypertension and cancers because the the culture medium where the egg and sperm met and were fertilized um, mm. is charged with a lot of um, substances so that to, to to make it viable. Mm. Another bad thing about this in vitro is mm. that they usually will have to put eight before three lang eh, now at least eight. Wow. To make to, to make sure, and then of course, if all of them will take, hmm. they will have to. They, there's also what you call 
fetal reduction, which, which is also an abortion. Now, mm -hmm. if you let it, them all just thrive, though, if ever all eight will thrive, um, the probability of all this aborting also um, not thriving or being born prematurely is also there. And there, of mm -hmm. course, there are a lot of um, medical um, medical problems that can also happen to a mother with multifetal pregnancies. Okay, so okay. Well, that clarifies ma many things. Now, uh, hearing it from a doctor is what uh, gives a lot of gravity, really. Now, you mentioned something about um, abortion already, and I connected to another question that um, perhaps it's good that we talk about, um, especially the listeners would need this. Because um, when we are discussing contraception, that's a sixth commandment, yes, but um, the previous class, there was a, a mention, why not in the fifth commandment? Because there's a, an abortifacient effect that many do not know in relation to contraceptives. Maybe you can briefly tell us uh, um, that, in fact, some contraceptives are against not only the Sixth Commandment, but also the Fifth. There's, there's life that is compromised. No? Sige. Uh, Father, uh, I'll just run through if there are any other um, things you want to ask. Uh, so mm. one, the, the pill. Um, mm -hmm. There are a lot of, no, wait, lang, let's start first. Na, kasi the life starts mm -hmm. at fertilization. There mm -hmm. are a lot of um, um, anti-life advocates, uh, pro-choice, who are trying to, to redefine the start of life to implantation. This will push the, um, the, the definition of um, abortive fashion also with this uh, contraceptive. So number one, the pill. The pill uh, supposedly um, will prevent the egg and spell, uh, sperm from meeting because there won't supposedly no egg cells will be, um, there will be ovulation. But the mm -hmm. thing is, it still happens. Um, it's called breakthrough ovulation. And if that mm -hmm. happens, um, when the egg and the, the woman um, ovulates and then meets the sperm, there's still pregnancy. I personally have seen that uh, many times in private practice where the woman, even if she's on the pill, uh, claims that she's never uh, forgotten to take any and would come because of um, prolonged bleeding. And then when you do a pregnancy test, it's positive. So it can only be one thing. A positive pregnancy test is pregnancy. And of course, eventually mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the, that baby will be aborted. Um, what happens is when the patient takes the pill, it makes the, the uterus hostile to implantation. That's the reason mm -hmm. why it's an abortive fashion. Now, mm -hmm. the IUD also is like that because what it does is that it will not actually prevent the egg cell and sperm cell from meeting, but it, again, it will um, prevent the egg and sperm from implanting because there's mm -hmm. like an appliance there in the uterus. So it, again, it will uh, abort. Mm -hmm. um, the, that's also how the, um, the ejectables are. Um, because again, it will it will make the uterus hostile to to implantation. Even the there's also another one, um, the the implant. The it's like mm -hmm. a matchstick that's placed in in the arm of the woman, mm -hmm. and supposedly the woman will not um, will not uh, uh, ovulate also. But the, there's a lot of side effects. I've seen a lot of women um, mm -hmm. coming and then with a lot of uh, bleeding, etc. So yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, connected to another issue regarding abortion, because um, having been a priest and a confessor, hearing uh, souls no, in the confessional for a time already, almost a decade, I've heard that abortion is not so uncommon um, in our country. No? Um, and I wanted to know, because there's uh, apparently an abortion pill reversal that was recently found or discovered, and it's promoted by obstetricians in the U.S. Um, is this drug available here? Um, yes, could you talk, talk to us about it a bit? Um, Father, usually kasi the abortive fashions that are available here, but of course it's it's um, illegal. Um, mm -hmm. It's anti-progesterone. Uh, so the, 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 of course the timing is very important also. No? So the, the medicine is actually a progesterone pro for gestation pregnancy. So mm. it's available um, because these progesterone uh, medicines are actually given for patients who are 
um, having what you call threatened abortion or nagtatangkong mahunan. And then mm. there also are, these medicines are also used to regularize menstruation, this progesterone tablet. So it's available. Mm. The thing is, um, so it's it's actually, it can be given, um, but the the timing and the window is very important. So if, mm. example, a woman took um, an abortive fashion, um, and then change her mind. If mm -hmm. within 24 to 48 hours, probably even up to 72, um, and you give that uh, progesterone tablet um, in, in the hopes that it will reverse the effect because the um, abortion uh, tablets are usually mm -hmm. anti-progesterone. But okay. of course, if example, the, the abortion was is a mechanical um, thing, Mm. It's it will be very difficult to reverse okay. this. Uh, mm -mm. Yes. Okay. 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 Um. I asked someone. Uh, um. Something that I wanted to assess. Uh, this is regarding um the argument that people use to promote abortion. Because some say, what if they are victims of sexual abuse, etc. So out of compassion, uh, for these women, they will not. They should not have a pregnancy. They did not desire, etc., etc. Would God understand if they do all the means available so that they do not conceive? No. Um, are, do you, are you familiar with this uh, and how to counter it as a, from the medical perspective? What do we do with the victims of sexual abuse? No, ginagawa ba in relation to them? Um, actually, Father, we just had a conference on that uh, mm. recently. Um, Number one, when you see the patient, you have to know when when the assault happened. Mm -hmm. um, it's not um, it's not uh, bad to to give medicine to prevent the woman from getting pregnant because even if the act itself finished, the fact that the sperm of the man is still inside the vagina of the woman that mm -hmm. is a, it that's considered good, a continued assault on the woman. Now, mm -hmm. again, the timing is very important. You have mm -hmm. to know that if the assault happened um, when the patient was not ovulating, meaning there's a right egg cell, or mm -hmm. right after, because if it's around that time, the probability, if the probability of conception is there, um, then you're doing an abortion if you give something mm -hmm. to the woman. But mm -hmm. if example, so the, what, um, the way to do this is usually a blood test mm -hmm. to check for there's certain hormones that will tell um, the doctor if the woman is ovulating or just ovulated or is in the, or after ovulation. But now there's a kit, it's only 62 pesos. Um, of course, you find out the timing. If you think the woman is ovulating, it's, that's her fertile period. Um, you can check. It's just it's like a pregnancy test, but this time you check for ovulation. It's actually used for to check for a woman's fertility, but it can be used for these rape victims. Now, mm -hmm. if example it happened prior to ovulation, then you can give um, uh, this medicine. Uh, um, it's actually just the um, the pill. It's like a high dose pill to to make the uterus um, uh, hostile to to uh, what you call, to change the more or less the rhythm of the hormone so that she will not ovulate if it tap if the assault happened prior to ovulation okay. okay so but you do not but if example the probability of um fertilization or cons uh, happened already then you should not because you will also be causing abortion but the probability is really very low anyway. hmm. okay that clarifies it now huh? Well, um, I don't want to monopolize also the questions. I want to open the floor for the others. No, maybe um, we'll have an open forum with questions that the others would like to ask. Um, the chat box is there for this. And I invite again um, Dr. Lisa to join me and um, we'll answer the questions. Uh, um,